Today we take a look at Africa's entertainment space from the music, film, content creation and gaming industries. Welcome to this week's Africa Investment News. My name is Diana Ambale. The COVID-19 pandemic put the world at a standstill with lockdowns all across the globe. With the world craving for just a little bit of hope, African entertainers and creatives worked hard to produce content that brought hope and light amidst the pandemic. People were able to connect personally with all these creatives and artists. Entertainment and media revenue across Africa grew strongly in 2021 as all these markets, like the rest of the world, recovered from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Industries that were more severely impacted in 2020, such as cinemas, live music, and B2B trade shows, made strong comebacks and sectors such as video games and OTT videos rose to new heights after thriving under lockdown con lockdown conditions. The film industry. The production and distribution of film and audiovisual works is one of the most dynamic growth sectors in the world. Thanks to digital technologies, production has been growing rapidly in Africa in recent years. It is estimated that these sectors account for $5 billion in revenues and employ 5 million people. Stories of the continent are abundant and over the years, perceptions of Africa's creative film industry have changed. There is now an even hungrier market for films made in Africa and about the continent. Homegrown film academies all over the continent have stepped up forward to train the next generation of filmmakers in response. International actors such as Idris Elba are working with African governments to give the world a taste of African culture and heritage through film. The Nigerian movie industry is undoubtedly the biggest movie industry in Africa and it's also among the top movie industries in the world. Nollywood produces 2,500 films yearly. In comparison, Ghana produces 600 films per year and Kenya film industry may reach 500 production annually, the same estimate for Tanzania. Local and international streaming and film companies are also stepping up to invest their resources on African films. These companies include Netflix. In 2021, the giant streaming company and UNESCO launched a competition to find six young creators in sub-Saharan Africa who will be funded to produce movies. The competition had six winners receive $25,000 plus a production budget of $75,000 to create short films through a local production company. In 2022, Netflix also gifted $1 million to film and TV industry in the sub-Saharan Africa region through scholarships. Multi-choice. Multi-choice has put in all their resources in making sure each country enjoys local talent with their different branches, which include Maisha Magic East and Bongo, Mzanzi Magic, Africa Magic, Novella Magic, and much, much more. These channels promote filmmakers, actors, and creatives from different countries in Africa. The music industry. African music has always been great, but now more than ever, the world is taking notice, thus opening up more opportunities in the global entertainment market for Africa's talent. Global media houses are signing up African acts at a record pace. We've also seen viral TikTok trends with African music. These are just a few of the visible ways that African music is going global. Some of the international labels like the big three global music that include Universal Music, group Sony Music Entertainment and Warner Music Group have consistently set their eyes on Tinent. They have been signing top artists like Nigerian's Techno, Tiwa Savage, Wizkid, Davido and South Africa's Joyful Noise. Other artists that are still on their roster include South Africa's rapper Nasty C, Tanzanian singer Diamond Platinums and Kenya Afropop band Sauti Soul. International acts are showing interest in working with African stars such as Beyonce, having different artists on her album Black is King, Rema collaborating with Selena Gomez, Burna Boy with Ed Sheeran, Saoti Soul with India Ari, Wizkid with Chris Brown, Davido with Nicki Minaj, and much more global collaborations. 
African artists have been breaking records on streaming platforms. For example, when Wizkid featured on the song One Dance by Canadian rapper Drake, the song became the first to reach 1 billion streams on Spotify, becoming the most streamed song on the platform, a position it held for almost a year and occupied the number one position on Apple's chart for top 25 songs. We've seen African artists winning big global awards like Burna Boy, Wizkid, Thames and more receiving nominations and even winning the Grammys, BETs, and other awards. Artists like Davido have sold out international concerts when he sold out the O2 Arena in London. We have hits like Jerusalem becoming a global lockdown hit bringing hope around the world. Content creators across the world are opting for snippets of African hits to accompany their short videos, such as Mia Mo by Mario Tanzania and Jovial from Kenya. Clocking over 7 billion views on TikTok, one of the countless African songs that blew up on the platform. Social Media Content Creators the creator economy is a new generation, a fast-paced market that arose in the response to the growing popularity of digital technologies and their broad impact on individuals and the digital economy. In economy, in Africa, the creator economy is one of the biggest employers of labor. Young Africans have turned what was considered informal work into a viable industry creating employment and are largely responsible for exporting Africans' content across the continent to the the world with YouTube naming Kenya fastest growing market for content creators. Social media giants Meta, YouTube and TikTok have shown immense support to African content creators. TikTok recognized and awarded top creators at an inaugural award ceremony in January 2023. The award ceremony was TikTok's way of recognizing storytellers, creativity and the positive impact all creators bring to the TikTok community. YouTube has the Black Voices Academy. The program works closely with African creators, offering them dedicated partner support, seed funding invested into the development of their channels, and participating in an intensive development program that focuses on training in production, community engagement, and well-being, followed by ongoing workshops and networking programs. Meta launched a campaign tagged Creators of Tomorrow with the aim to acknowledge the work of emerging content creators around the world including Sub-Saharan Africa and North Africa. The Gaming Industry with over 24 million gamers, South Africa currently stands as the country with the largest video game markets in Africa, having 40% of the population playing video games. Ghana 27% and Nigeria 23% are in second and third places respectively. Kenya and Ethiopia finish fourth and fifth in the continent with 22% and 13% of the population into gaming respectively. These figures are likely to explode in the coming years as more investment plans keep trooping into Africa's gaming industry. For instance, in May 2020, Curry First, a gaming development startup, announced that it had raised an investment of $2.5 million led by CRE Venture Capital to support and invest in game publishing across Africa. In the last two decades, revenue generated by Africa's entertainment and media sector have been monumental. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa's entertainment and media sector will grow faster than the world's average. That's it for today. Don't forget to like our videos. And for more of Africa's investment news, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell.